Here uh, we will explore the map of uh, recent eruptions on the Reykjanes Peninsula. I mean recent in historical terms, in historical times since um, they took place after Iceland had been settled in the year 874. The first settlers arrived here from Norway in the year 874. And ever since we had quite a few eruptions on the Reykjanes Peninsula as you see uh, the red color is the 13th century, the dark red color to the west. And you see the 13th century eruption of Itla Hroin, or the bed lava next to the lagoon, was quite extensive. It was uh, several times more um, area covered by the lava than in Farada's felt. Uh, here is the yellow thing here in the middle, a small one, is 2021. 23 eruptions that stretches a bit more to the north now because we had 23 volcano but still not much bigger than this but this was a massive outspill back in the 13th century when Iceland had been already inhabited it didn't reach Grindavik you see where the lava went it went uh, south uh, west uh, and it made it to the ocean here uh, to the Atlantic Ocean uh, west of Grindavik it didn't quite and the uh, eruption probably took place here uh, next to Blue Lagoon. So we might see um, a kind of replica 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 replication of this event, maybe in the same area, um, though nobody will know. Since Trompa erupted next here, uh, next to the bridge between continents in the very west, also about the same time in the 13th century. Uh, but then it was kind of small eruptions of, from several craters. Then um, this orange thing here in the middle is uh, the lava from the 10th and 11th centuries. It's uh, fires of Kresovic eruption that lasted for 30 years. This lava uh, came here in the course of 30 years during several eruptions from various craters in the 12th century. And destroyed one village next to the ocean here, this orange lava. It destroyed the village of Kresovic. The residents uh, relocated their village more inland. Some houses still survive here next to the ocean, um, and they call it uh, Husholmi or the House Islands. Some ruins in the middle, you can even walk to those houses there. So, Krisovic uh, volcano stretches, um, central volcanic system stretches all the way to Reykjavik, as you see. And then uh, in uh, Brennestedsfjord or Salfe Mountains, we also had volcanic eruptions in the 10th and 11th centuries, right after Iceland had been settled, and you see lava reached almost the limits of modern Reykjavik city and spilled it over into Hafnafjord and here in Kopavogur area of Reykjavik. Well, they, we had some farms only in Reykjavik, people didn't live, uh, the city was not that big back then, but you see, there was quite a massive eruption. So, we had quite a few eruptions in the course of the past. Uh, um, 1,000 years. Not many, but significant parts of Reykjanes Peninsula had been flooded by the lavas, as you see. Maybe some 20% of Reykjanes went under the new lavas, or less, maybe 10% altogether. So, uh, eruptions are pretty frequent here. Uh, even in the modern times, they have been, so this is how it looks.